Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I posted my last video here. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about how you drive stick shift or standard transmissions. Uh, if you like this, uh, obviously like the video, uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, if you have any questions or any uh, points to make, just uh, drop that down in the comments below. So to start off here, uh, first thing you want to check is your trans or your shift pattern. Obviously here this is a uh, 5 speed. You could argue whether or not low is a gear, but for all points, uh, this is just a 5 speed. So the shifting pattern is going to vary on every vehicle. Some vehicles first gear is going to be up, other vehicles it's going to vary. So kind of just look at the arrangement of your gears. Uh, the most important thing to consider here when you're driving a stick shift is you have your third pedal here, the clutch. And basically what the clutch is, is it allows you to press it down and go into a gear and then let off and exit the gear or you engage when you, as you, sorry, as you let off on the clutch like that, you engage the gear. So you go from neutral, you push in the clutch and then you slowly let off. And then that's how you get into first and that's how you start. So uh, how you want to do this, uh, there, there's a few ways you can go about doing this. Uh, just for, I guess, beginners who are going to be watching this. What you want to do is get on the gas a little bit first. I learned uh, just to bring it up to 1500. It'll vary depending on the engine and the kind of car you have, but 1500, 1300 are generally some pretty safe uh, starting points. So you get up to that speed, uh, push the clutch in, uh, go into whatever gear it is you're trying to get to. Presumably first, once you get into other gears, uh, you don't necessarily have to be on the gas. But to go to a parking lot, uh, push the gas in, get to 13, 1500, somewhere in there, push the clutch in, push the uh, stick into first gear, and then practice slowly letting out in the clutch. You don't want to dump it like that because you'll stall the engine out or you'll just put a lot of stress in your transmission. So just practice uh, get, pushing the gas in, pushing the clutch down, and slowly letting off to engage that gear. Uh, so there's a few things you want to look out for after you do that. Uh, they're called bad habits and they basically are like that because if you do them a lot you can prematurely wear your transmission or you can damage it. Uh, one of the first ones is just always having your hand in the gear shifter. You don't want to be going in and out of gear kind of like riding the uh, synchros or anything. Uh, the biggest one you want to avoid here is going to be riding the clutch. So once once you're in a gear take your foot off don't rest it on the clutch you'll prematurely wear it or you'll just cause damage to your transmission and blow it up quicker than it should uh so if you can get past those two points uh you're fine uh the other th thing i kind of mentioned earlier here once you're in first gear so in that truck it's going to be one over and up once you're in first gear as you're going i can push the clutch in go to neutral go to and go down into second and i don't need to apply the throttle i can go straight for i can go straight from first to second with no throttle and it, go, it goes on through the gear points this is because first gear has the highest ratio on the transmission so it, the, the vehicle has to spin the uh spin the transmission the most time uh, i guess i'm getting a little too complicated here but basically the engine needs to the engine needs to spin everything less and less as you go through your gears and that's going to be why you need less to no throttle input as you shift through your higher gears. So I hope you guys learned something about this. I recommend you practice this in an open parking lot or on an empty road or something like that. Just so you don't have the peer pressure of stalling in an intersection or something like that. Um, and again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching.